Hallelujah. God is still good. All the time. I thank God not just for the S U N, but I thank God for the S O N. Hello, somebody. Yeah. He died on the cross for our sins and our iniquity. I'm stopping by today to give you a little thought from Ephesians 6 and 12. And it says, For we wrestle not against flesh. Hello, somebody. And blood, but against principalities, against power, against ruler of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, wickedness in high places. Hello, somebody. How many know we all going through some stuff right now? Amen. Hello, somebody. How many know you're fighting with some stuff? Want me to tell you why you're fighting? Because you still didn't woke up 3 o'clock in the morning. Hello, somebody. Amen. The reason why I can tell you, because Bishop can identify. Amen. I'm getting woke up 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, come on. Hello, somebody. Thank you, Elder. I'm about to come down your lane because God is trying to get your attention. Yes. Hello, somebody. Amen. God is up to something. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yes. God told me to tell you while you're going through and you're wrestling, there's a fresh wind about to blow on you. Yes. Oh, y'all better get ready. Hello, somebody. All right. The reason why. I saw this, and God gave me this. The reason why you're going through what you're going through is, I'm going to tell you in, in a few minutes, you know how technology do sometimes. I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to tell you one second. Um, I'm is for your redirection. All right. Hello, somebody. Right. We're going through this. You're getting rejected for some stuff. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Because God is redirecting your path. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. We're going through all this stuff in the four corners of this world. Ain't nobody mad but the devil, saints. Yes. Yeah. The enemy is trying to reach. Know what? He's trying to roar like a lion. Yes. Hello. His roar don't scare nobody. Hello, somebody. Right. Because when you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive what? Power. That roar don't scare nobody. What you're going through? It ain't. I'm gonna tell you something. It ain't nothing but a test, elder, Amen. prophet, Amen. elders, ministers, deaconess, missionaries, ushers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Stuff you're going through is nothing but a test. How many know God to test you? Hello, somebody. To see if you're a woman, a true man of God. God has sent something down your lane. Hello, somebody. You'll be surprised. Why am I going through? God said, I knew you. Hello, somebody. When you was in your mother's womb, God knew you. He, he formed you. Hello, somebody. Yeah. This is why you got to go through something in order to come out of it. Yeah. Huh? Right. Your setback is a comeback. Hello, somebody. Yes. God has told me, he told me to tell you, he's restoring you. Yes. Oh, my God. Waking up in the middle of the night. Why am I getting troubled in my spirit? Yes. Why am I getting messed with God is chopping He's tapping on your door. You know God said if you're not, the door going to open. Hello, somebody. Amen. He got to knock on your door so your other door can Oh, I ain't got nobody. Oh, I ain't got nobody. God is tapping on your door. He's telling you, I'm preparing you for your blessing. Yes. So stuff is happening to me. And I didn't understand why. I, I was getting attacked from certain areas. Hmm. God said, I'm setting you up for a new direction. Amen. I'm preparing you for some stuff. Y'all sex, I'm telling you now, God told me to tell you, get ready. Right. Right. Hello? Right. Hello, get ready, y'all. Right. 
God, the reason why, Elder, God told me to tell you, the elders, because you've been dedicated yeah. to the ministry, to all your leaders. That's why God said, I'll prepare you, some of you that have been pillars here in the ministry. And you know what? Some of you stuck and stayed no matter what. Oh my God. Yeah. Happy Holy Ghost. You stuck and stayed, prophet. Because you knew you had to stay faithful. If you don't do the tower and went, I, I'm telling you, prophet, some stuff is about to happen for you. I'm going to share it with you after service. Some stuff that he may, some God he may open the door for you. I want y'all to understand, deaconess, elders, y'all that's been faithful, been loving. It's something about being loving kind. Uh -huh. Even though we're going through, we we we, 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 we wrestling with this old it. Y'all know what Bishop called it. It. I don't like saying his name. One of the mothers used to tell me when I was young in the ministry, if you say his name, you're giving him, you're giving him uh, 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 power. some type of power. Thank you, Elder. You're, you're giving him some type of device. Oh, you don't say his name no more. Give him a name. If you got to go in my household, you got to go. Some of you, if, if you got your wallet, you got your pocketbook, got your pants, put your hand in your pants. Money is coming. I love you. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Money is coming. Some, some money been stored up for you. I don't know, God. I, I tell Bishop Stan, I'm telling you, there's some money had a hold on it. Hello, somebody. Because the enemy tried to stop it. Hello. Let me tell you, the enemy can't stop nothing. You hear me? And the reason why it, it was just held up temporarily, hello somebody, it was just held up, God said, I didn't release it yet because you're not ready. Hello? Oh, oh, oh. Y'all didn't catch that. Because the wind, the wind ain't blow yet, elder. Hello? Hello? When the trumpet sound, when the wind blow, hello somebody, the forefathers is going to release. Oh, oh. I, I'm feeling something. Don't get ready for the revelation. God should get ready for the impartation. Oh, help me. Help me, Holy Ghost. There's an impartation about to be released in the atmosphere with your name on it. Right. Woo. This, I got to talk in the prophetic because God is releasing some stuff. Even though I said we wrestle against special blood, against person in high dark places, you know the devil can't, the, it, it can't stand darkness. It can't dwell in darkness. Hello, light. Like can't dwell. He can't go nowhere where God tells him to come. Hello, somebody. So some stuff is being released. But I'm telling y'all, the reason why you're, you're, you're wrestling and you're going through stuff and you're getting woke up in the wee hours of the night, God is telling me, I got something I need to tell you. I got to whisper something to you. And saints, let me tell you something. I'm going to share this with you. Don't take it personal. Everything is not for everybody. Huh? What's been told in your house, keep it in your house. Help me, Holy Ghost. Don't release nothing that's been in your house. I remember my father used to say, whatever stays in his house stays in the house. So whatever's been as a release come from your leader or something been said, keep it in, in house. Hello, somebody. Amen. Don't go tell everything. 
Watch the one that brings you the bone. Hello, somebody. All right. You keep your bone to yourself, then you ain't got to share none of the meat. Hello, somebody. You keep your bone to yourself. It ain't time to get the bone out there. Hello, somebody. You can't share everything. I got to say it again. Everything is not for everybody. What God has for you, it is for you. Amen. Hello. Sometimes, I'm going to tell you, there's an apostolic anointing about to be released. Hello, somebody. And we need to understand why I got to keep saying and getting wake up in the wee hours of the night. Some blessings is coming. Some stuff is coming. But you got to learn to keep your mouth shut. Amen. Oh, my God. I ain't got nobody. Your teeth start falling out your mouth. You talk too much. Amen. Oh God, help me, Holy Ghost. Watch this, watch this. I ain't got nobody. Ask God to brighten your tongue. Help me, Holy Ghost. You gotta learn to keep your mouth shut. We talk too much and we eat too much. The reason why you're talking so you're so full, you gotta get it out. Help me, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, help me. Brighten your tongue. Keep your mouth shut. Yes. Stop talking to any. Everybody ain't your friend. Amen. So you prospering now. I see you prospering in your health. Yes. There ain't got to be money and everything and this that, and other. Your health is wealth. Yes. Stop talking so much. There's another thirty years on your life. Amen. Huh? Right. I'm speaking in I'm, I'm speaking in the prophetic right now. There's health. There's, oh my God, I forgot the story in the Bible, Holy Ghost, that he gave him 20, 30 more years onto his life. Right. right. Thank y'all. Thank you, Bible, Bible scholars. I'm just gonna bring stuff back to your remembrance. I know the story, but I'm telling you, keep your mouth closed, you might have another 40. Amen. The anointing what destroys the yoke. Huh? The ones that's coming around you, they just trying to pick for information. Every time somebody calls, look at your call ID. You don't need to talk to everybody on your phone. Amen. They ain't doing nothing but gossiping. And they want to know what you're doing. Right. How you doing? How your leader doing? Come on. Don't let everybody talk about your leader. Amen. I was trained like that. Don't let nobody put your mouth on your leaders. Hello, somebody. So when they say something, shut it clean down. You know what? I got to go. And somebody called me on the other line. Ain't nobody need to call me. Just close it out. Seal it. Seal it. God told me to tell you to seal it when you hear gossip. When you hear no nosiness. Help me, Holy Ghost. Nosiness. Folks swear about what somebody else doing. Study praying for them. I need you to understand the power of prayer. Pray for your leaders. Keep them lifted up. Folks don't want to see you happy. Folks don't want to see you prosper. They don't want you to go nowhere. That's why you're wrestling against flesh and blood, against principality, against darkness. That's why the, the stuff is coming upon you. It ain't, you ever heard of witches and warlocks? Witches and warlock coming to destroy. I, I, I learned that in Bible school. Them leaders, that's all they talk about was witches and warlocks. And God, while you're waking up 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, God said, talk to me. Talk to me. And some stuff God is whispering to, don't share it with everybody. God is telling you in your in, in, in the Psalm 91 said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide of the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my forward, my fortress in Him and God. Learn to trust God. Stop, the, stop doing this. I'm saying, folks, do this. Just be quiet, y'all. Be quiet. If your leader's quiet, if your leader's quiet, you'll be quiet. That's all you gotta do. That's it. I'm done. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. 
Come on and give shout glory. Shout hallelujah. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Oh, I ain't got nobody. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord with the fruit of the lips. Shout glory. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Now, don't you love him on today? Don't you love him on today? Oh, my God. God said the devil thought he had you. But you got away in the nick of time. And some of you, I, I, I'm, I, I'm done. I'm going to say this. Some of you that have been pillars of the ministry. God said keep staying faithful and watch me. Huh? Don't take your eyes off the prize. The prize is Jesus. 